what do we think of today's makeup by the way it's very sloppily done <laughs> um but i like the colors i like the green and pink together and a lot of glitter and this lip crazy love it <laughs> i'm not gonna unpack a chair but Ooh, maybe i am <laughs> can i scooch back ah no <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. And brushes that I really, really wanted. Uh, this is the. Ah! Oh my god. I see we're going into uh, 2020 with the exact same clumsy energy that I went through 2019 with. Great. I'm going to have to put, in a, put a montage together of every time that I drop something in my videos. welcome to today's video and the first video on my channel for the year 2020 which is really really exciting happy new year to every single person that's watching whether you're a subscriber or not i hope 2020 is really really good to you you get everything you want and it's just a great year for us all i have really good vibes about 2020 i've heard a lot of people also say the same thing so let's hope we're all right <laughs> Today's video is um, going to be what I got for Christmas. This is not a video that's intended like to brag. Um, I'm sure if you're a subscriber, like you, you know that. Um, I just really love watching these because I'm a nosy bitch. So I assume that others like watching them, which they do. People like watching these videos, so that's why I'm making it. Um, you can see, like, I've got some stuff piled up here, ready to show you. Um, but first of all, I want to start with something I can't really actually show you on camera. Um, my little brother sp spoiled us this Christmas and um, he got me a piece of artwork for our home. And uh, it's by an artist that we all love called Laura Zombie. And she's amazing. Her stuff like speaks to my soul. Um, it's really whimsical and magical, but also has a bit of like darkness and includes a lot of animals and like unicorns and things. Um, and I love the colour she uses and every, I just, and the messages she puts with them. I just love her work. Um, and yeah, he, at the end of Christmas day, after I'd already opened presents for him, he surprised me with it. Well, us, cause it's for our home, but he surprised me with it. Um, it's actually like, can you see this black thing here? That's it, but it's huge, so I can't show you. And it's really carefully wrapped up and in a safe place where it's not gonna get touched. So I don't wanna like disturb that because obviously it means a lot to me. So um, it's huge, it's like, <laughs> too big to fit in the camera screen um but i will include a photo of it if i can find a photo online of the actual piece that he's got me i'll include it here um it's really beautiful it really reminds me of figaro our cat uh, bless him he's a little scared of things um he had a bit of a rough start they both did in life but i feel like because cleo was saved at a younger age by rescue and then was around lots of animals and people that were showing her love. She's a lot more brave than Figgies, who we assume was a lot alone for a lot longer. Um, so he's scared of stuff like the bin men. When they come, <laughs> he hides and he always hides under a blanket or a quilt and pokes his little head out. And genuinely, I nearly cried when I opened this piece of work because it just literally reminds me of him when he hides and so I'm gonna cherish it forever. I already know where I want it, but it's in a really, like, we can't hang it. I'm going to have to hire someone who can hang it with a ladder because I want it on the drop from our stairs, and that's, like, a 20-foot drop. So, anyway, I just wanted to start with that. Um, I don't know where to start. This is not going to be in any order of, like, who got me what because I haven't organised it that way because I'm not very organised. Um, so I'm just going to start grabbing the things that are around me. First of all... A candle and um, this is a molten brown candle called muddled plum and my parents got me it and oh my god it's actually heavenly like it is Christmassy and obviously now it's not Christmas but um, I'm still gonna burn it because I'm obsessed with it and I actually think they got me this because they always have this um, in winter burning near the front of their house so when you walk in it smells like this and every time I come in, I go, what is that smell? Oh my God, that candle is amazing. And they got me one. So I really, really love that. I cannot wait to burn it. I might actually start burning it today. Ben might kill me though if I do it whilst he's out. Also for my parents, I got a Too Faced Diamond Light highlighter. It comes in this very fancy packaging. 
um <laughs> says it's your time to shine um i asked for this because i've never tried it but it definitely looks like my kind of highlighter Ooh. um basically i've been using it as a highlighter on my face for like the whole of 2019 an eyeshadow color that was in um a Too Faced eyeshadow palette and it's run out. I've used it completely gone. <laughs> so I was looking for something that was like that. I really like colder toned highlighters and ones that are very like, like that, like white and iridescent and yes, because I'm very pale. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. This, I'm just gonna have to like keep forever. It's a nail polish with a little unicorn lid and my nan got me it and she's in her 80s and I know she can't go very far, like she doesn't drive and she doesn't walk very well. Um, so I kind of know like where she goes day to day. Like I do see her every single week. We, we have dinner with her, me and um, Ben. And um, so I kind of know like where she goes and what she does. So I know she had to like really search the stuff for me and that is just the sweetest thing like the fact that she, I know she put a lot of effort into finding this little unicorn nail polish for me um so yeah I'll probably never use it and just keep it forever because I think it's so sweet and I'm a soppy mess <laughs> another beauty product that I, I really really wanted I wanted this last year and I missed out and my parents got me it um is that not the sweetest packaging in the world it's like a body shimmer that comes with a powder puff yes honey i love that i'm so excited to use it i haven't used it yet i wanted to use it all over christmas and then i just kept forgetting i need to get it into like my going out routine this was also from my parents i'm so excited to try this 365 days of art a creative exercise for every day of the year and it's just really like random stuff like what inspired you today and then draw your own fairy lights i just love it and i think it's going to be really great for my creativity and i just i'm excited to try it i haven't looked at it because i don't want to look at it until i can like find time to sit down and actually do it so i'm gonna have like obviously like a week's worth of stuff to do but i'm excited i'm trying not to like look inside because <laughs> Really want to, but I don't at the same time. Also from my parents, my mum loves getting me little um, beauty gift sets, which I love because how I found some of my favourite all-time beauty products is through little gift sets where you get miniatures, because it's a way to try like multiple things, isn't it? Um, and if you don't like it, it's only a small amount, and it's not like you've wasted loads or wasted loads of money if you've bought like a full-size product yourself. And actually, I've only tried one thing in here. It's from Benefit. I do love Benefit stuff. I've got their Total Moisturiser Facial Cream, which my mum said is what sold it to her, because apparently everyone that worked wherever she got this was saying it's their favourite moisturiser. Um, if you've used it, let me know if you like it. I've got Bravo Conditioning Primer for your brows. I have tried Professional. And then a little eye cream in the corner. And I also, she knows I love packaging and I keep boxes like this. I have a million uses. Whether it's to keep my, I've got a box like this that was from a beauty set that I keep my all my tablets in that I take every day for my lupus. So like, I will find a use for pretty boxes. <laughs> my parents also got me this absolutely ginormous soap and glory bath bomb, the Christmas Quacker. It says a super cute ducky, of course, inside. I think there's a duck inside. I'm gonna die when I try that because that's just like too exciting for me. <laughs> Oh, this is also, this is, well, oh, hair on my mouth. This is a bath fizzer, and it was from my older brother and his girlfriend, and it's like an evil queen cauldron. I don't know how I'm going to show you that without, like, ah, I can't really show you without reflection. It's a cauldron! I'm so excited. Is it going to turn your bath black? Who knows? That's the fun of bath products. Ben put this in my stocking. Me and Ben have loads of fun with our stockings because... We kind of are at that like age and also at that point in our relationship where we, we do always ask for like our main present. I like, we always say like, what would you like? And they say, I'd like this. And you go, okay. And then yeah, we get it for each other. Um, stockings are kind of like, you don't know at all what is going to get in it. We don't talk about it at all. And it's always a surprise. And he does such a good job of my stocking. I got this squishy, funny, piggy, squishkins. Cochon, cochon, le cochon tout, round tout, mo. Okay. <laughs> 
it's a squidgy pig and I love it. <laughs> Another beauty set from my mum. Um, from my parents, but you know, I know my mum picked these ones out for me. Uh, it's Benefit and it's got all these goodies in it and I needed a new little um, pouch bag thing because mine zip has broken, so very good. Um, that cookie uh, highlighter in the middle, I'm very excited to try. Oh, from Ben, I'm so excited to open this up. It's the Tasty Every Day All of the Flavour, None of the Fuss. It's a recipe book. Um, look at that. Excuse me. Look at that. I just feel like I've been really bored by dinners recently. Like, not obviously over Christmas, you just live off like cheese and crackers, but <laughs> in everyday life, like, I just need some inspiration. And I'd really love, I find cooking really hard since I got ill. It's really strenuous on my body. I find it really, really difficult. Most of the time, impossible. Um, most of the time, Ben has to cook for us. Um, but even if, like, you know, it's him and me, like, using it together um i just think we will benefit from some inspiration in the kitchen and i do follow tasty online and i like their stuff that they post so this is from my little brother um and it's the same artist as the um as the picture he got me um and it's a unicorn kiss and I'm gonna have to get another one because apparently you're meant to have two and they're meant to kiss. And I have one now, so I need one for it to kiss. Oh, it's so cute. It's just too cute. It's a little pink unicorn. I love how sharp its horn is. Just to stand, I want to put it in our living room. I wanna get a white one. I think, yeah, you can only get pink, white, black, and blue. I really want a white one. Um, but he got it signed by her for me which is crazy let me and there we go yeah so it doesn't come signed but he got it signed for me which is amazing so yeah i need to keep that safe forever really i'm a very sentimental person i do literally like keep things forever someone's put thought and effort into getting me something i'll keep it forever <laughs> Right, this was from my parents, um, and I think it was like the only thing I did know was I was getting from them, um, because I did ask for it, um, and then I ordered it back when I got the Snow White one, um, because they came out at the same time, and they've been keeping it all the time, but I must admit I did forget, because it was literally months ago that I bought it, um, they bought it for me, you know what I mean. Um, it's the Irregular Choice Mulan bag and it really is beautiful these are like 3d flowers um stunning and the back oh it's so pretty i love the size of it i'll i just know i'll use that loads i guess we'll stay on the irregular choice theme here and if you watched my irregular choice princess haul you will have seen these but i did say in there that some of it was going to be christmas presents for me and my brother and his girlfriend got me these I'm obsessed. These were my favourite thing from that um, the drop that they did that was Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. These are regular choice as well. Um, Ariel is in one heel. Look, it's actually like a snow globe of glitter. And Ursula is in the other heel. And I said, I love these so much. These could be my wedding shoes. Like, I'm obsessed. I love them. And just on shoes, I guess. Um, these were from my parents and I'm obsessed. Actually, I would wear these with what I'm wearing today. Um, very Spice Girls vibes. They are Ugg sandals. They're for outdoors. They're not slippers. Um, I just am obsessed. This band across the ankle is, across the, around the heel, is stretchy. And yeah, they're leopard print. I'm still trying to get hold of the pride ones. They did rainbow pride ones. How the hell is that in there? That I really, really want. Um, but I haven't, I haven't seen to. I've, I've, I know I've seen them, but I haven't like looked at them properly. But I adore these. They give me such Spice Girls vibes. And if you couldn't tell, I'm very much into '90s at the moment. <laughs> Actually, all the time. I'm a '90s baby, so I am into the '90s. Right, these. Another irregular choice pair of shoes were from my parents, and I just about died when I opened them because I really wanted these at the time when I got the bag, but I couldn't afford them. Um, and they came back in stock and my parents got me them for Christmas. <laughs> it's these insane heels. So they're glittery and they're mooshu. And then as you spin them, the heel 
is Mulan, but in both of her outfits. And she actually does spin. Oh, I'm dead. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? They're bright yellow as well. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're beautiful. I think this is the last regular choice thing. Another pair of shoes. <laughs> um, these were also from my parents. And were also something I wanted when I ordered the bags. Um, and again, I couldn't afford at the time. Um, which is because, you know, I, I had to make a choice between shoes or bag. And I know I'll, I'll use the bags more than the shoes because I don't wear heels every single day. Um, so I chose the bags, but I was so sad that I missed out on those and this pair. Um, because I do love Snow White. Look how pretty. And then as you go up the hill, it's all um, the seven dwarfs are on, like, obviously both shoes. And then look at the heel on this. Oh my, it's just adorable, and then it's got the princess stuff underneath. These are quite light. I really was expecting them to be really, really heavy, and they're not at all. So I actually think they'll do they won't be as hard to wear as they may first appear when you look at them. I've I've just got a shoe box that I've <laughs> put my Christmas presents in. Um, I got a lot of socks from my parents. I love socks. I think they're a great present. I don't understand when people say that socks are a bad present. You're always going to need socks. Anyway. <laughs> I'll just show you the one by one. I've got this pink pig pair. Um, and they've got like fuzzy little ears and a fuzzy little nose. I've got this lovely white pair with a heart that says love, I believe. Yes, on top. I got this flamingo pair, and the flamingo is fuzzy, and so are the polka dots. Um I love these. Again, I would wear these in today's outfit. They're like glittery army print, but unusual colours. And then Ben got me some Christmas socks. Um, I love fuzzy socks. I like live in them in winter. Oh my God, they're so soft and squidgy. <laughs> um, and then he also got me this polar bear pair, which I think are absolutely adorable. And again, <laughs> so squidgy. I think maybe this is my favourite. I don't know, I love them all, but like, I love the colours of this one. Um, the little snowman, and again, I could sit there and do that all day, it's so comforting. <laughs> oh, and then he also got me this pair. Love that, it says Boss Lady on it. Love those. Um, and he also got me a pair that I can't see. Where are they? I'll have to find them. He got me an Ursula pair. That If I can't find them, I'm sorry, but he got me an Ursula pair and they're really sick and I love them. Um, from my best friend, she got me this adorable coin purse. Oh my God, look at it. It's like denim. Oh, two little keys. <laughs> it's like my babies. I love that so much. And she also got me some genie socks in a little bauble, which I love. Um... This is now my second pair of Disney socks in a bauble. Last year I got up from my brother and from Ben. Love that. I got some scrunchies from my parents. They're velvet and I love them and I love scrunchies. I use scrunchies all the time. From my boyfriend's mum, some Spectrum Collection brushes that I really, really wanted. Uh, this is the... Ah! Oh my god, I see we're going into uh, 2020 with the exact same clumsy energy that I went through 2019 with. Great. I'm going to have to put in a, put a montage together of every time that I drop something in my videos. Um, it's the eye brush set. Down there all over the floor. Great. <laughs> His mum also got me this um, jewel breaker palette, eyeshadow palette, which is just insane. Like... The colours, this is what it looks like. The colours inside, oh my god. That's a palette that's been made for me. Oh, this lilac. I have struggled for so long to find a perfect lilac, like an actual lilac eyeshadow, and it failed. And then his mum got me this, so yay! <laughs> From my parents, I got three Urban Decay Heavy Metal eyeliners. They're like glitter eyeliners. 
I really want like every single colour they do in these. I'm actually, I'm wearing it today. Um, there's this colour, which is like, got reds and coppers in it. And that is called, God, that's hard to read. Cat call. <laughs> Can't get it out. This colour is called Sticks and Bones and it's like a real dark gunmetally purple and silver kind of vibe. And then this one is called, I literally can't tell you what that is. They've written it in glitter on glitter. So yeah, <laughs> I can't tell you what colour it is. But it's this one, it's like a iridescent white, pink and like silver and holographic glitter it's fabulous they then got me these two um two faced lip glosses and i am wearing one over a two faced liquid lip today um in these two magnificent colors which one's this called oh this is just called 401k i think that's all it says on the top um, this magnificent shimmery purple, which I'm obsessed with. And this one is called Two Nightstand. Strange. <laughs> like pale pink. Um, it's kind of warm tone. It's got a bit of like goldy in there, I think. Stunning. I'm just going to grab another box here that's filled with presents. How cute is this? My parents got me this bath bomb, which I'm only just going to stand in my bathroom and never use because it's too cute. Um, it's called Meow For Now by Bomb. I think they're just called Bomb Cosmetics. Um, it's a kitty! <laughs> so cute. I love that. I can't use him, he's too cute. My boyfriend is the cutest and there's this jewellery brand that's like a small brand that I really, really love and I often like comment back and forth with the lady who makes the stuff and runs the company um, on Instagram and stuff. Uh, ben knows I love her stuff, he's bought me loads of it and this year he put together like a little box, like a Christmas box and there was loads of tissue paper and then they were all laid out in it and it was so cute with like confetti and stuff. Why is he so cute? Um, so they come in these little bags um, before they've always come in boxes I don't know if it's because he ordered like a few pieces at once that they just came in these little bags I'm not sure um, but loving this loving this it's a dinosaur oh my god there she is sparkly yellow and pink dinosaur love her there are a lot of unicorns and cats from her but had no dinosaurs so now i'm very happy to say i am an owner of the dinosaur necklaces because he also got me this baby oh, look at the love hearts so cute i i so wanted this this isn't the first time she's made these um, and i missed out the last time and i'm so glad i got one this time it's a Polly Pocket, and if you could actually open it, you could open it by twisting it upwards. Oh my God! Look, ah, <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. There's actually like a little Polly Pocket in there, and on the front it says her brand name, which, by the way, is I Love Crafty, um, and you can find her online on that name everywhere. This one I adore. I should have worn this today. This would have gone with today's outfit a lot. This is an iridescent unicorn on the moon i just love it again her stuff is just so me it's so whimsical magical beautiful cutesy um she does a lot of disney stuff she's done harry potter stuff as well which i love i have her chocolate frog uh necklace here's this one i don't, I don't think that's ever really gonna focus but it's a unicorn on the moon and it's like iridescent clear it's beautiful this one i want to say it's kiki's delivery service which is not something i like know a lot about but um she did a couple of things from that and ben got it because it reminds us both of me and cleo my cat <laughs> my little black cat oh look and she's wearing pastels she has dark hair and he always says I'm a witch so not in a mean way like in spooky weird things happen around me and my mum and my nan he's always said the three of us are witches in a lovely way <laughs> we 
we're magical. Not that we're like evil old witches, <laughs> we're magical. And then last, but not least of these little pouches, he got me this winter kitty, which has got a little pink like snowflake flower crown on. Stunning, and I actually got this one last year, but with a blue, I wanna say blue flower crown on. Um, like a bluey minty color, I think it was. Probably my favorite, and I am 100% gonna keep this forever because of what it means. And it's so special because it's the year we got engaged that he got me it. Um, but it's this stunning, huge necklace. Look at the back, by the way. It's like all glittery, it's insane. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna have to do this, like with my whole arm. Oh my God, look at it. It says, till death do us part. I love that so much. And because it's the year we got engaged, I just, I'm gonna keep that forever, because I love it. And it's special. Staying in line with the jewelry theme, um, my brother got me this. Um, this amazing gorgeous bauble and you open it ah. and inside is a Couture Kingdom Disney necklace um, and I I just adore it did I say my little brother got me this? my little brother got me this um, I actually have like a rose gold bracelet of theirs so it's really really cute that now I've got a necklace that kind of matches um, this might be hard to show you. I love how dainty the chain is. Um, right, let's try and show you. So it's a Mickey head. Look! And then on the back, it's the Mickey M. Um, I just think that's stunning. I want to put that on now. Look at the little pouch it comes in. It's so cute. And then he also got me, um, from the same brand, these insane earrings. Look at that, it's like Mickey outline um, earrings. Oh, I know I'm gonna wear them loads. Love that. I wanna wear them to Disney Tokyo. I'm trying to convince my brother and my boyfriend to go away to Disney Tokyo with me, but my best friend that lives in Australia also wants to come. But then I feel like I have to invite my other best friend, so we should all go on a big trip to Disney Tokyo. I just really wanna see Japan this year. That's my goal. This was from my bestie too. She got me. Uh, we actually got each other <laughs> large gifts at each. We know we just know each other so well, okay? Been friends since we were like four. Um, it's just got luxury lush pud bath bomb in, candy cane reusable bubble bar, and then snow fairy shower gel. It just smells good enough to eat. I can't wait to use this. We both love lush stuff. So yeah, we both got each other a gift set. And keeping in the lush theme, my parents got me this set i really wanted this i'd asked everyone for it purely because i love the gingerbread house tin i know i'll keep it not just because of that i wanted the stuff in it as well this has got yognog yognog yes shower gel pop art bath bomb the comfort of bubble bar i love comfort cookie dough lip scrub i can't wait to try candy cane bubble bar marshmallow world bubble bar, bath bomb can't wait to try that an american cream shower gel lovely my boyfriend did get me a few different um, Lush bath bombs. I've used a lot of them. Um, he got me the Christmassy ones, but I'm not gonna get them out. I've put them away in the bathroom. Um, but yeah, he did get me... He did get me bath bomb. All I asked from everyone really was like a load of Lush Christmas bath bombs because it's that time of year. I want a bath today and I love their Christmas stuff. This was in my stocking from Benjamin and it's like one of my favorite presents. <laughs> it's so cute. It's like a little kitty, um, I'm BPA free. Little kitty like, oh my God, it just feels amazing. I can't tell you how good it feels. Mm. Um, sippy cup, which I adore. I got a selection box and a giant chocolate bar with my name on it from my <laughs> older brother and his girlfriend. Um, no one else got me a selection box, so I was actually really excited by it. Oh my god, like one of my like top 10 presents this year. This is a cat selfie. Take the perfect selfie with your cat. You clip it on your phone and then because of the bell, the cat will look at the camera. That's from my older brother and his girlfriend and wow. Mind blown. 
I got some pens from Ben in my stocking because I absolutely love snazzy pens. I got this Christmassy snowman one. Love him. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god. It's a little panda, but like, he's a squidgy. Yes. <laughs> and then he got me this bunny one and she's a squidgy too i love it so much i literally love oh no her ear's broken mm. that's really sad i'm gonna have to glue that um and then he got me these two pens which i'm obsessed with one of them's like a crystal and the other one is like and it reminds me of like an old fashioned paperweight, which I love, with a flower in. I love those two. We do collect Funko Pops, uh, we have a lot of them in our house, and my brother and my boyfriend both got me Christmas Winnie the Pooh, so I do have two of them. Um, I love him, his little hat is so cute. Oh my god, I love Winnie the Pooh, so I was ecstatic, ecstatic with that gift. Ben got me Bo Peep love this in her like old school Bo Peep outfit um, from Toy Story. We don't have a lot of Toy Story pops, I don't know why. We both love it. Ben got me Pusheen Mermaid. Look at her. I love her, she is adorable. I think I want her in my living room. I think I know where I want her. And he got me Love A Lot Bear Care Bears. I was obsessed with Care Bears when I was little. He also got me one of, I think this might be my favorite pop of the year, Dragon Sheen. And it's pushing as an angry little dragon. Look at his grumpy little face. I can't deal with it, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And he also got me Hello Kitty in a burger dress. Oh, so cute. Love that. I don't know where I want to put her. In my stocking, Ben got me a neon sign. You can make your own neon sign into like whatever you want. That's really cool. I can't wait to try that. My parents got me a laptop case. It's Kath Kitston. It's like glittery gold with little embroidered hearts and stars um, because I got a new laptop, so I need a new laptop case. My parents also got me an amaryllis it is an amaryllis isn't it yeah an amaryllis um and this one's called dancing queen and she's gonna be a beaut theirs is absolutely huge they had what it's so funny because on christmas day i came in and i was like what is that plant where did you get it it's insane it was huge and the flower heads were like this and they were just so impressive and pink and beautiful um and then later on they were like yeah it's like an amaryllis and they were telling me about it where they got it and stuff and then later on i opened one and they got me it so i was like yay this is really funny i opened this for my parents and I genuinely thought it said constipation relief. And I was like, why have you got me something for constipation? <laughs> it's actually congestion relief. And my mum got us it for all of us. And it's for your sinuses because we all suffer with sinus problems. Um, and she swears this is the best thing she's ever used for her sinuses. So she got one for all of us. Um, so yeah, I actually might try that today because my sinuses actually are hurting today. All oh, here. If you've never had sinus problems, you just don't know the pain. My little brother got me this and I'm dying. This is definitely one of my favorite presents of the year. It's a Loungefly Disney Ursula backpack. I'm obsessed with her. She's amazing. I've already worn her out because um, <laughs> I just love it so much. It's so well done. And now it's my, I've gone from having one Loungefly item to now having four and that's all because of my little brother because he also got me these got me this little purse that clips onto your bags and it's Minnie Mouse look how cute it is um so you can clip it onto your bag and have whatever you need in there and he also got me this amazing purse and it's the Queen of Hearts lounge fly purse um which is so much fun because I've always had a thing with the Queen of Hearts, the original Queen of Hearts um, from the animated Alice in Wonderland. I played her um, in a school play once um, and then from then on everyone related her with me. Um, so much good space in here by the way, it's a great purse. Um, and then this year I dressed up as her in Disney World, I'll insert a picture here in case you haven't seen it.
um, I went to the Halloween party and I dressed as the original uh, Queen of Hearts and I met the Queen of Hearts, dressed as her and it was so much fun. Um, I can't remember if Jake said that he got me this because I'd dressed up as her or if he'd already got it before he knew that I was dressing up as her. But um, yeah, I love this. My parents got me this Wonder Woman um, soap and glory set, which is just, I love this bag. Filled with goodies. If I don't smell good this year, there's no excuse really, because I've got everything in the world that smells amazing. Also from my little brother, he got me one of these. Is it called a brick bear or a block bear? Um, I'm not sure, but Jake has a few of them. And every time I go to his place, I'm like, I literally want all of them. Um, and he got me this one. He said he, he was like, I really struggled to find one that I thought was like girly enough for you. Um, and then he got my older brother one as well. Um, so he got me the Hello Kitty one, which actually I'm gonna take downstairs after this and put up in my living room because I just love her. I'm not gonna unpackage her, but oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Why does this always happen? I'm literally the clumsiest person in the world. Here we go. Isn't she so cool? I love her. Oh my God, I love her. She's amazing. Such a good present. Ah, from Ben, oh my God. It's a fucking dance mat. And it's like the dance mat I had when I was little, like, and it says that it's a retro one. I'm praying it has the same old songs. Um, I think you just plug it straight into your TV. Includes nine games, 110 songs, nine dance, dance stages, 10 characters, three difficulty levels. Yeah, simply connect to your TV, step on the arrows. It looks like the one I had as a kid and I was obsessed with it. So I can't wait to try this. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm sure no one will want to play it with me, but I am gonna play it alone, I don't care. Ben got me this perfume that I really, really wanted. It's the new Marc Jacobs, but it's uh, Daisy Love. Oh, so they, Cause they've got um, just Daisy Love, which is like a white and gold colorway. And then this one, which is Daisy Love, oh so sweet, which is the pink colorway. And I always prefer the pink ones. Um, the other one's delightful as well, but I cannot wait. This is gonna be my 2020 scent. I can't wait to start using it. Jewelry is always notoriously hard to show you. So I'm gonna do my best here. But from Ben, he got me things for my Pandora bracelet. So the first thing he got me was this safety chain. I don't know how I'm going to show you this. See the safety chain here? And it's Mickey hanging off of it, which is just because if the bracelet comes undone, then you won't lose any of it. I'm going to actually stand up. Um, he got me, here he is, Christmas Pooh Bear. I have no idea how to show you this. They're so small. <laughs> here's this Christmas Pooh Bear, which I love because he matches my Christmas Pooh Bear Funko that Ben got me. He then got me the Hogwarts Castle. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. I'm obsessed. He also got me the Hogwarts Express train. Uh, I love Harry Potter stuff. And we actually watched like loads of the Harry Potter films over Christmas. Um, Dobby, so cute. And then last but definitely not least, he got me Tigger and Tigger's holding a little flower. <laughs> I love it so much. And Ben did get me the big Soap and Glory set that has everything in it. The one the you know, they do every year if you're a Soap and Glory fan, they do like a big set. But again, I've put it away in our bathroom. <laughs> I cannot get it right now, I'm sorry. And last but definitely not least, one of my all-time favourite presents this Christmas. Ah! It's their sleepy range. Um, look at his big, it's, it's the softest thing you've ever felt. Like you need to go and um, find one <laughs> to cuddle because, and it's so squidgy. And actually a couple of days after Christmas when I wasn't feeling so well, um, I laid on my bed and I literally just put my head on him and I fell straight asleep. And that doesn't happen to me ever. Like I have a lot of sleep problems, but he is so squidgy and soft and lovely. Baby, look at him. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Ben. <laughs>
I don't think I ever go through like a Christmas or a birthday without getting a teddy. I love teddies, okay? I love plushies, whatever you want to call them. I love them. Can you see my giant Marie back here? I carried that in my hand like inch back from Florida because <laughs> I love them so much. Anyway, that is it. That's everything I got for Christmas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do make sure you hit the like button just because it really helps me out and helps my channel out. It also helps me know what you guys like watching and what you don't like watching. And yeah, since this is the first video that will go up my channel in 2020, please do let me know in the comments below like what you want to see more of from me. Um, what are your favourite videos that I do? What do you want to see me do more often if I've only done something like once? Please let me know because I always listen and I always try and do everything you guys do. In fact, almost every video anyone's ever messaged me asking me to do, I do, because I want to make what you guys want to watch, obviously. So yeah, please do let me know. And I hope you had a lovely Christmas and festive period. I hope it was relaxing and fun and all those good things. Um, moving forward, I'm aiming to do two videos a week. They will be going up on Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, if I ever do three videos a week, it'll be Tuesday, Friday, Sundays. My aim is to get up Disney vlogs because I've still got Florida vlogs left um, that will go up on Tuesdays and then regular videos on Fridays and Sundays. Um, yeah, that's my aim. This is just going up on this Tuesday because I wanted to get it up first and I, did, I didn't want the first video of the year to be one where I'm not like greeting you into 2020, do you know what I mean? Um, so the next video after this will be a Disney vlog but then we'll flip reverse it back the other way. So <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you're all having a beautiful day, whatever you're doing and I will see you in the next video. Bye!